In this video, we will learn about the estimation of the test for omitted variable bias as well as the misspecification problem. Because in regression, we sometimes omit some important variables and in order to know if we have missed something significant, we want to apply some test and figure it out so that we could include some important variable as well as sometimes we specify the wrong form of the dependent or independent variables that is linear versus nonlinear and if nonlinear then uh, what sort of degree should be used so for all of these possibilities we have two tests that we can apply and we can get the uh, information regarding if we have missed some significant variable or we have misspecified it before we go ahead I advise that you subscribe the channel so that you keep continue receiving this uh, set of meaningful uh, application of tools and also other material on economics so now let's focus on what we have to do here we have actually a publication in which this tool was a uh, couple of tools were applied and this is the title of this publication now we are going to go straight away to that test this is where the test is applied uh, in this test as you can see it's about the regression model estimations and in this test we are going to apply the regression uh, on using by using the fixed effects model and then fixed effects with Driscoll and Cray standard error once we do this uh, this is uh, one of a, a couple of ways to estimate the regression However, our focus is on the tests that will guide us about the omitted variable and misspecification. For omitted variable, uh, uh, we have the test known as Ramsey test and its null hypothesis is that the model doesn't have any omitted variable. And for the misspecification, we have link test and we are going to do both of them. So the criterion for their um, interpretation is that if the tests, uh, uh, both of them, if they are insignificant, it is a positive sign because in that we know that statistical insignificance happens, then we have a desirable situation with no omitted variables or without any misspecification. Here what we can see is that the probability value is 0.124 which means that there is no, uh, no omitted variable and uh, for this uh, link test we have two statistics we basically focus on the first one and in this case we can see that the first one that is the underscore hat statistic is statistically insignificant because its value is 0.196 even the a hat square test or statistic is also giving a statistically insignificant value which means that we have uh, correct specification of the variables now this was the result and we can see its interpretation somewhere here both Ramsey test and estimated hat square hat and square tests they are insignificant implying correct specification of the model so uh, we are having a desirable situation let us see that if we have the same sort of situation in stata when we use uh, a certain data set so now we are in stata where you can see we have the data set uh, it's another data set that we are using here and in the first step we will conduct the command of regression simple regression and when I do I get the results these are the results of the simple regression by using these variables and now we run the OV test which is the omitted variable test as you can see in the command pane we can see the command just after running the regression we can uh, undertake this command otherwise it is not going to work so by using the results in the regression command ov test is going to give us certain results and here it is statistically significant 
it means that the null hypothesis that model has no omitted variables is rejected in and consequently it is safe to say that model has some omitted variables so this is one thing um, now we know that we might have missed some variable now the other test to see the specification error we will run the other test which is known as link test you can see I've highlighted it and now we run this and when we do uh, we get this uh, kind of regression in which hat test has a statistical insignificant value of p whereas hat square has a significant value of p that is probability but we focus more on hat test because it has more explanatory power as compared to square hat square test which can guess by chance so we focus on more reliable uh, probability value which is associated with underscore hat uh, that is the hat in its original form so it is statistically insignificant it implies that we have a situation where misspecification is not present so the specification is okay the linearity or non-linearity chosen in this regression was acceptable so in this way we can uh, figure out if we have missed su some variable or if we have used the variables not in their proper form and this was a demonstration of it now you can check your regressions and stay tuned for more thank you